Am I spending all my money again that I don't have? Mm. Yes. Hi guys, it's Hills and welcome or welcome back to my channel. We finally hit 1,000 subs. I am so grateful for every single one of you guys. Thank you for supporting me. It helps me a lot. If you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe down below and hit the notification button. Today, I've been long awaiting to do another Shein try on haul. This stuff is all for a really good price. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So starting with swimsuits, everyone told me not to get this swimsuit. Like literally everyone. It is a cow print bikini. I will be going to Florida for winter break. So this is just a little cow print bikini. I didn't know how this would look on me, but I'd give it a solid 8 out of 10. I thought it was pretty, the quality is really good. I always love and recommend Shein swimsuits. So this one was definitely a go. The next swimsuit I got was a lavender bikini. And this one is not push up, but it actually looks really good. Um, again, the quality is always really nice for swimsuits from Shein and the bottoms are just little ties and it's like a little cheeky bikini. So A plus for that one. Um, okay. So next moving on, I got this sweatshirt. Do I know what this means? No. Okay. Of course. Why? Lexi! Okay. Next, I got this pleated tennis skirt. And this skirt, you guys, I was really impressed with the quality from Shea. And I was a little bit nervous about getting it. The fit around the waist is a little bit loose. But as for the actual quality of the material, it's not see-through. Um, and, I mean, I'd find it, like almost the same exact quality as how pricey princess Polly's skirts are i just found that this was definitely a bang for a, um definitely a bang for its buck 15 dollars max so i thought this went so cute i love this hat i don't know if you guys know luca whitaker but i've seen this hat all over her instagram and my only thing is it is so large. Like, it's so cute, but um, that's probably my only thing in it about it that I don't like. But other than that, I will be taking pictures in this 100% in Florida, but it does do be making me look like um, Dumbledore, just, just a little bit. Um, but I thought this also went really cute. I actually paired together the tennis skirt with the sweatshirt I had shown before. This is just a mountain in Switzerland. Don't worry. I looked it up before I bought it because I don't know what it means. But again, this quality is super, super soft. Um, I love the material. And in this video, am I wearing my brother's collar shirt underneath because I don't have a collar shirt? Yes. Yes, I am and I was really really impressed about the quality once again with the price that it is so this is actually a really nice sweatshirt I will be wearing this all the time next um so this next one is a mesh zebra top probably my favorite one from the collection of stuff that I bought and I mean it's just really really cute it's different it's just this cropped zebra sweater and you do have to wear something under it so you don't have a little reveal underneath i actually paired it with these from princess polly sorry these are a couple of things that are not from um shein but these are just super high fashion i've seen it all over my pinterest board and it's just these flare white pants and um Again, these I absolutely love. They look so good with the zebra top. And then I also got these glasses to go with that outfit. And you can also wear these glasses with absolutely anything. I actually lost my other pair. So I highly recommend those glasses. And then the final thing is this um, 
rippled, I don't know if that's the word, rippled dress from Princess Polly as well. And it's just this really pretty lavender tone. I was a little disappointed how it fit on me, to be honest, because I do have a more athletic body. I don't have a lot of curves. I'm not complaining, but um, it just made me look a little bit square. So <laughs> it's super, super cute, though. Um, I don't know. I might, I might keep it. You can let me know in the comments. Um, and then the very, very last thing, I also got these biker shorts. I just got these and added it. You know those things that you add to your bag like last second? But this is definitely a no-go. Like, I don't know if you see the material, but it's like they just took spandex, stretched it out, and shaped it into biker shorts because they're just baggy. I'm not even going to show you how these looked on because... It's pretty horrible, like even the elastic at the top, it just looks very, um, ghetto. So, <laughs> these ones I honestly might throw in the trash or sell, but I don't know. But those are all the things that I bought. Um, my brother's coming in my room right now, so he's gonna say hi. Yo, what is up guys? It's your boy. I don't know what the heck this video is, so I don't know what to say. So, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe down below once again. And, as for the giveaway, you ask, I serve. So, in the next video, I will be releasing how to apply for the giveaway and the winner in the next video. So, stay tuned for that because I did not forget about that. But I did not know what you guys want um, in the giveaway, so make sure to leave in the comments down below some ideas that you do want me to put in the giveaway. I was thinking maybe like a gift card, a Starbucks gift card if you guys are coffee drinkers like me, um, some face masks, really whatever you guys want as long as it's not super crazy because I ain't making that much money yet. Um, so I really hope you like this video. It gives it a thumbs up and I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for 1K again. Bye guys. I, I, okay, I hop up in my cool.